Some people are spending hundreds of dollars on classes, courses, or design tutorials just to teach them how to design journal covers. You don't need any of that. With the help of AI, you can design custom images in just a matter of minutes. No more wasted time on spending hours and hours designing your journal covers from scratch. Hey friends, it's Tisha and I'm here to teach you the tools you need to help you create and sell digital products. In this video, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to use Google's new AI image generator tool, Nano Banana, to create custom images. And then we're going to head over into Canva so I can show you how you can turn those images into unique, beautiful journal covers so you can start selling journals online. Make sure you watch the entire video because I'm going to also show you how you can use these images to create covers for your digital journals as well as printed journals like Amazon KDP. Let's jump into my computer and get started. So what is Nano Banana? Nano Banana is Google Gemini image generation tool. It lets you create images using AI. You can use this for free. There is a pro plan, but for the most part, you'll be able to use the free plan. You can do a lot of fun things with Nano Banana AI image generation tool, including creating fun, unique, cover designs for your journal. To get started, you want to head over to gemini.google.com and it's going to take you directly into the Gemini AI chat to get access to Nano Banana. It does have a banner where you can just click on to and say try the ed image editing or you can click on create image. Okay, and once you do that, you can just start prompting it like you would normally prompt any AI chat. Okay, so once you have that selected, you just want to uh, add your prompt. And your prompt basically is just going to include the type of image that you want to create. So here's my prompt. Create a digital illustration of a black woman as boss babe with a short haircut. And leave it like that. I like to kind of keep it simple to see what it gives me at first. And then if I want to make any changes, I can just ask it to make those adjustments. So let's see what it's going to give us. Okay, I really like this, but if I wanted to change it up a bit, I can ask it to give her a different color suit. Let's ask it to give her a pink suit. So the great thing about Nano Banana, you can actually just give it some prompts to make little tweaks to give you the type of images that you are looking for without having to re-prompt it or re-enter the full prompt. Because I plan to use this image on a journal, I don't want it to have a background, so I'm going to ask it to recreate it without the background. Okay, so it gives it to me without the background. Now you can use a background remover tool like Canva to remove the background, but I just wanted to show you guys that you can do that in Nano Banana as well. Okay, so let's ask it to create some pattern images. This prompt, I'm going to ask it to create a pattern with some bright colorful flowers and see what that gives us. Okay, so this is what it gave me. I'm currently not really feeling this design, but it's it's up to you. You can have it, um, if you like this design, you can keep it, or you can get, again, like we did with the previous photo, and give it some tweaks. If you know the type of flowers that you wanna use, you can also include that in your prompt. Let's try another one. Since it's um, fall time, or close to fall season, let's try a fall pattern, see what it gives us. Okay, so this is a little bit better. And if this is something that you wanted to use, you can use this to create a journal with a fall pattern. Okay, and you can just keep playing around with the prompts to basically create unique patterns and journal covers. Another way that you can create unique designs is that you can upload an image and use it as a reference to create a design that you want. So let's try that. We're gonna hit the plus. Click upload files, find the image that you want to use. I'm adding an image of a strawberry and I'm going to give it this prompt. Use this image to create a pattern of strawberries on a pink background and see what it gives us. Okay, and I think this is really, really cute. I really like this background. Okay, so as you can see, you can just go in and play around with prompting and create fun, unique designs. Um, that we can use as journal covers. Once you have your images to download them, you just wanna hover over the image and in the top right corner of that image is the 
download icon and you just simply download that and it's going to download to your computer and so now let's head over to Canva and I'm going to show you how you can use these designs to create your journal covers okay so here we are on the Canva dashboard first you want to go over to the left to hit create to create a new design now I actually want to show you how you can create a journal cover for digital journals as well as any printed journal that you may be printing through Amazon KDP okay so we want to click custom size okay so for our digital journal we want to use the measurement of eight and a half inches by 11 inches so we can just click that and it's going to open up the Canva editor and first you want to do is upload your images to the Canva platform okay so once you have your images uploaded to Canva you can simply just double click them and add them to your editor and you can right click and set images background or you can just simply drag the picture out to it it meets the corner edges and remember we're starting with the the digital journal okay so that is how that looks. A quick tip is that you can use a Canva template to help you with figure out your fonts and anything like that. So let's click search and type in journal cover. And Canva does have these different journal covers that you can use. So if you right click, like I like this font. So I can select apply text only and it will add that to my design okay so because we can barely see this we need to add something to this let's add a shape and then we're going to just change this to match our pink background by clicking on the plus use the eyedropper tool and then hover over the pink and then it would match that way and then we can add a border just so it can stand out a bit and if you wanted to we can change that color oops wrong one we can change that border color to also match okay now we don't really need this extra text so you can delete that and we're going to say journal and we can change the title here as well and then just switch these around also just change the color of this font Let's change it to that red color and we're done. That was very simple to do. Let's try another one with some of the other images and then I'm gonna show you how you can recreate this or create something similar for KDP. Okay, so let's just add a page. We can add our image of our boss babe. If you have Canva Pro, you can use the background remover to remove the background for this image and it just leaves us with our character here. Okay, and I want to make her a little bigger. So I actually just make her like this and make sure she is centered. Now let's add some text. and there is another journal cover okay and just like that we have some really cute fun journal covers i want to show you one more that i previously created just to kind of give you some ideas of how you can easily design your journal covers okay now let me show you how you can do this also with creating a cover for amazon kdp now before you create a cover for amazon kdp you will need to head over to their cover calculator to download a cover template so for this design we are going to design a cover for a six by nine journal first thing we need to do is change this to inches and then we're going to put in our measurements which is 12.65 by 9.25 and then click create new design once you've downloaded your cover template from amazon kdp you need to upload it to canva and then add it to your design you want to place it in the top corner and then just drag it out until it matches perfectly with your page okay now if it doesn't if it doesn't line up evenly just double check your measurements okay now this is template is for your front cover and your back covers the right side is going to be the cover of your journal the middle is the spine and then the left side is going to be the back side of your journal 
okay so what we want to do is just make this transparent so the first thing you want to do is add your text because you want to ensure that your text is not going over the bleed area which is the red borderline and once you have your text placement you can then just change it to whatever it is that you want it to say and then also change your font style and now that I have my text I want to add a shape similar to what we did for the digital journal I'm gonna stretch this out here okay and let's add my images so let's go to my uploads let's do the strawberry and if you're doing a print bleed it can go from corner to corner and then we just duplicate this and pop this over here on the cover side of it I want to position this behind my font so I just put it that way and then I also want to add another shape for my spine and then I'm simply just going to change the colors to match the picture so let's change this to the pink um no let's change it to red and then change this one to pink create that border just like we did with the other one and then also change our font colors to match okay and now we have a cover that is ready for Amazon KDP okay let's do this again with our other pattern that we created just so I want to show you guys how simple this is and it takes the design process it makes it much simpler so we're going to delete the strawberry image and make it like this then we're going to duplicate this again delete this strawberry image pop this over here to this side place it behind our text let's change the spine color to this deep orange and now we're just simply changing the colors out to match the pumpkins and I know if you guys notice that I'm actually just pulling the colors from the image to make sure that they match exactly okay and that was easy so now I have two covers that I'm basically created in less than 10 minutes okay and for this you just want to download this as a PDF and upload over to Amazon KDP and just like that we were able to create some cute journal covers and with the help of Nano Bananas AI image generation tool it made the process super easy okay so now you see how easy that was with the help of AI designing and creating your journal covers doesn't have to be complicated so I need you to stop overthinking the process and start creating. The sooner you start creating, the sooner you can start selling and start building your online income. If this video has helped you in any way, let me know by hitting the subscribe button. I am on a journey to hit 100K subscribers this year. To help me continue to create free tutorials just like this, hit subscribe and join the community. Now to learn how you can start using Canva and ChatGPT to create your full journal, check out the video that's on your screen. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.